If you don't drop a like in the next five seconds, this will be happening to your Fortnite account. But if you do drop a like, this will be happening. The choice is yours. Hit the like button now. With the release of the new season, I'm gifting my subscribers the brand new Season 5 Battle Pass, as well as skins and emotes from the item shop. So, if you want to have a chance to be gifted, all you have to do is make sure you are subscribed to the channel, you have dropped a like on the video, as well as left a comment down below telling me your Epic Games username. This way, I can add you. Good luck to everyone who decides to enter. Season 6 is on its way, and in this video, I'll be showing you everything about it. But before you start, go ahead and leave a like on the video as well as subscribe. As 69% of you, my viewers, are not subscribed. And if you want to support me, make sure to use code SHOVELGAMER in the item shop. If you do use it, comment down below, I used your code. And they will give your comment a heart. Really, just give it a try. Hashtag add. Now with all that out of the way, let's start with the video. With Chapter 2 Season 5 being out for almost 6 months, we're now closing it on to the next season. And no, there won't be a Chapter 3 to us yet. Now when exactly is this next season going to get released? Well, if we head over to the main lobby and click on the Battle Pass section, we can see that it reads Chapter 2 Season 5 through March the 16th. And if we actually make our way over to Epic Games' official Fortnite page and we click on the Battle Pass, we can see it reads now through March the 15th. But if I would have to guess, I would say Season 6 is going to get released on Tuesday, March the 16th. Now, with a new season comes, of course, a brand new Battle Pass. And because of leaks, we know a whole lot about it already. First of all, there's a high chance of the next season being DC themed. With Chapter 2 Season 4 being Marvel themed, Fortnite might be looking for another superhero themed season. Why, you may ask? Well, recently this was posted on the internet, where it announces how Fortnite and DC Comics are bringing out a comic book series named Batman slash Fortnite Zero Point, with a total of 6 issues or editions. They'll be rolling out over time starting April the 20th, all the way through July. And here is what its first cover will be looking like. And best of all, for purchasing any of these 6 comic books, you'll be given a code for an actual in-game cosmetic which you can now redeem at the official Epic Games website. One of the cosmetics has actually been shown already, being a new Rebirth version of the Harley Quinn outfit. And here is what this skin is going to look like. Now, if you end up getting all the six issues, you'll be receiving an extra item next to all the six rewards for each coat, being an armored version of the Batman skin, which is most likely going to look similar to this. And of course, with all of this taking place during Season 6, we can expect a whole lot of old and classic DC content to return. For instance, the return of Gotham City as an actual POI, the return of the Batman-themed weapons such as the mythic explosive Batarangs and the mythic Batman Grapnel Gun. Oh yeah, and we of course can't forget about all the old and classic DC skins and other cosmetics making their way back to the Fortnite item shop. Moving on, Fortnite might have just actually teased a Season 6 Battle Pass skin themselves. With the Sika bundle recently making its way to the item shop, they tweeted out the following, with giving us this image right over here. That by the way, looks extremely epic. But if we actually take a closer look at this image and zoom it in, we can see Peely overlooking the Colossal Colosseum from behind this railing. But it is not any of the Peelys that we currently have. It's actually a Peely skin wearing some armor, ready for a fight. And to be honest, I think it is based on these giant golden gladiator statues that can be found in the Colossal Colosseum POI as well as the in-game lobby. Now with the March crew giving us the legend set including the Llama Bro outfit, the up north back bling, the puffcorn pig pickaxe, and the legend rep, it will also be giving all crew members the chapter 2 season 6 battle pass for completely free, since next season is dropping around mid-March. It is also expected female Midas is going to be coming with a crew pack in the near future or with the actual season 6 battle pass, since her silhouette can be seen on this promotional image right over here, and she can even be seen on the royalty loading screen that you will unlock as soon as you complete 73 epic quests during the current season. Also also, leakers are able to find something very funny. Guessed or not, but they found Peter Griffin from Family Guy within the game files. A backbling texture was decrypted, showing this scene where Peter Griffin hits his knee where he's fighting a chicken, as well as a bunch of other very weird clips. 
so who knows? Next thing you know, Peter Griffin might be a season 6 Battle Pass skin. Talking about trailers with the most recent collaboration where aliens arrived. Through the zero point, we could see how Ripley was using this flamethrower weapon. So who knows? Maybe this is going to be a new weapon coming to the world of Fortnite with the next season. Fortnite is even adding in a fire extinguisher. It is still in the works, meaning it's unfinished. However, data miners were actually able to pick it up and showcase it. As you can see, it shoots CO2, or some sort of smoke balls. And as of now, it's only available in common rarity. And after destroying it, it causes a cloud of smoke that lasts around 30 seconds. Just have a look at this clip. Talking about rotation, a ton of vehicles have been updated in the game files, meaning Epic Games might prepare them to bring them back to the game, since they usually update them first before unvaulting them. And I'm talking about the two-player shopping cart, the hoverboards, as well as the ballers that messed up the entire competitive side of Fortnite. So who knows, next to cars and boats, we might see some good old vehicles making their comeback. Leakers even found out about a brand new flopper coming to the game, being a gas flopper. It will most likely work like the vaulted stink grenades. After catching this fish and consuming it, it will create a yellowish stinky gas cloud that lasts an X amount of seconds, dealing damage to any nearby player. And how do we know this, you may ask? Well, just give a listen to these audio files. I mean, it speaks for itself. And of course, we cannot forget about the next-gen starter pack. This starter pack will be exclusive to just only the new Xbox Series X and S, as well as the new PlayStation 5. It will include the Ruby Shadow Skin, the Blackout Back Back Bling, the Shadow Slicer Spickaxe, and the Sky Shadow Glider. And here is what they all look and sound like. From there, we have a crazy concept trailer made by a good friend of mine named SD Concepts. Make sure to check out his channel and give him some support. The trailer is all about John Jones traveling through different worlds in search of a key. Let me play it right now. Drawbacks to these rifts is that I don't exactly control where or when Hello? I'm heading. No. Are you hearing this? <sighs> Hello? Is that my true? Jones? Now, with the current season being all about the Zero Point, next season won't be so different. In short, the Zero Point is like the heart of the Fortnite island. It pretty much connects the Chapter 2 map to all the other universes, even the Chapter 1 map. And with it destabilizing, you never know what can happen. I mean, back in Chapter 1, it exploded and sucked us right into the black hole. So, the Fortnite map is about to change forever, and Agent Jones is here to put a stop to all of this. We were first introduced to him during the device event, where we got teleported over to Agent Jones's office, where we then found out his real name is actually John Jones. And ever since, we haven't seen a single thing about him, until the Galactus event. But after we defeated Galactus, it played this cutscene. <laughs> the 
the zero point has been exposed and Agent Jonesy needs to enter the loop to fix it while making sure nobody escapes it. And if they do, he needs to stop them and hunt them down. He does this by bringing the greatest hunters across all reality to the Fortnite map while staying off the radar, since alerting the Seven is the last thing he wants as of now. So far, he has brought a bunch of hunters to the world of Fortnite, all by the use of his Rift Portal gun, which actually creates a portal that is directly connected to the Zero Point. So far, he has used it on Kratos from God of War, on Master Chief from Halo, on Michonne and Daryl from The Walking Dead, on the Marvel's Greatest Warriors and Royalty, including Black Panther, Captain Marvel, and Taskmaster, on Predator, on T-800 and Sarah Connor from The Terminator, on Rue and Shin Li from Street Fighters, and most recently on Ripley and the Xenomorph from Alien. And each time he brings a new bounty hunter to the Fortnite map, he's turning more and more into the old OG Jonesy from Chapter 1. From trailer to trailer, he's gone from a full suit to now this, where he's now wearing his red tie around his right upper arm. Coincidence? I don't think so. That must be another snapshot. Talking about snapshots, if you don't know what it means, they are pretty much different versions, as entering the loop will create a new snapshot or version of Agent Jonesy. Pretty much each time he enters the loop, a new version of Jonesy is created. Anyways, talking about his other versions, here are all the current Jonesy skins within the game. There is even a Jonesy NPC on the map, and it will be character number 37 within your collection character book. Anyways, after talking to him, you will actually start a conversation about the loop and the zero point. What it is, how to escape it, and how there are so many Jonesies. It's actually pretty interesting, and he does reveal a lot of information. Just go ahead and check it out for yourself. Also, around the map, we can find a bunch of secret underground bunkers. They belong to the Secret Service, those who are also in control of the IO Guards. It still remains a question what the IO Guards' true intentions are, but to me it just looks like they want to make sure no one escapes the island. Anyway, about the secret underground bunkers, there's actually one underneath Stealthy Stronghold, there's one underneath Hunter's Haven, as well as the Colossal Colosseum. Here is a sneak peek of what they look like. Now, about Agent Jones, he actually can be found in the game files as an existing skin. In the game files, he's from green or uncommon rarity and currently does not have an icon. However, his description reads, espionage suits him well. And here is what the skin looks like within the locker, within the lobby, as well as in-game. Fun fact, he wears a watch as well as a ring. Remember the hidden bunker right next to Caddy Corner or known as the redacted bunker? Well, it still remains a question what's inside or when is it going to get opened? Who knows? As far as I know, there could be an entire sludge army in there. Or we could find Chaos Agent working on this unknown master plan from within the bunker. But even when trying to glitch inside or under the bunker, it won't give us the answers that we need. And let's not even start talking about Kevin the Cube. Steamy Stacks is still running, and Fortnite is teasing the return of Gavin the Cube here and there on streams or on social media. Fun fact, the bounty hunter known as Gunder actually has this rep that you will unlock at tier 64 of the battle pass named Vengeful Shadow. And after taking a close look at this rep, you can actually spot these symbols. And these symbols were last seen on Gavin the Cube himself. Now, with NPC Gunder walking around Misty Meadows, it is said we can expect some major changes to happen to this POI next season. As, when overlapping the Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 map, we can see that Misty Meadows perfectly aligns with Lucky Landing. So who knows, maybe Season 6 will bring some sort of mix between Lucky Landing and Misty Meadows. Just like what happened with Salty Towers this season. And if we actually draw a line from portal to portal, we can see that it creates the form of the cube. Now this gets interesting.